Good morning fellas and we are back for another shave and today we're going to be using the closer from the old shaving shop club. So this one here in the fine print has the scent notes. So it says bergamot, pink pepper, iris, nutmeg, tonka bean, amber, musk, cedarwood, and tobacco. So this is a cologne dupe and I knew at one time what it was. I don't know what it is anymore. Um, I believe this one. So this is back when uh, Peter used to. Um, what, how do you call it? He used to pick artisans to make soaps for him. He wasn't making soaps at this time. So he would commission. That's the word I was looking for. He would commission artisans to make soaps for him. So... This was this uh, predates Peter's soap. I believe this one here was made by Maria Armin over at Through the Fire Fine Craft. I could be wrong. It's been a while, but I think that's who made this one. And it's actually a really good um, scent. I like it quite a lot. It's a little bit, a little bit mature. Um, maybe older than me, but I feel like. You dress up real nice. This this is perfect. This is a date night. This is a big money meeting type fragrance. This is definitely sexy. It's masculine. It's confident. So this this is a good one. I really like this one. You see I scoop some out. You can see the kind of difference there. The old part still has the film on it and the fresh part took it off. This is a hard soap. Back then there was a a lot of harder soaps and actually just a small sticker on the back with the ingredients list there rather short list this was before things got crazy so coconut oil mango butter tallow cherry kernel oil and strands of tussa silk so that's what we're using today um let me get lathering here i will go ahead and wet the face <clears throat> Get a little moisture started. I actually, since this is a harder soap, I don't normally bloom stuff, but I just threw some water in the bowl just for the hell of it. I don't hate on the guys who bloom. I don't hate. I'm not a bloomer most of the time. Or a boomer. <laughs> but I'm not a bloomer. I don't do that very often. But I don't hate on it either. I don't see no problem with it. It's your shave. Do what you want, right? All right, so I'm going to be using my Grizzly Bay brush here. I just have it in this empty candle glass jar there that I cleaned out. I'm using my Grizzly Bay with the Strike Gold Shave Hair Force One Badger Knot. It's got those nice gel tips. This is actually one of my favorite Badger Knots in the den, if not my favorite. One or two. Top two. Alright. Damn. Hands were already slick just from putting that bloom water on. Gotta dry them off. And the Lancaster towel is back. Super excited about that. That towel is a 100% upgrade from my old, my old uh, towels that I had around. I will say the only downside... To the Lancaster towel is kind of like the uh, cleaning and upkeep type <clears throat> because it's microfiber it wants to be it, it uh, asks to be washed separate from linting materials so cottons and all of that have to be completely separate so it kind of it's a little bit finicky but it's really a small price to pay for the luxury it adds into your shave. And you really don't know, you really don't know what you're missing out on until you have it. They're pretty inexpensive really, so if he makes another batch, I would definitely consider going for it. I haven't added any water yet because I actually, the soap was quite damp from the blooming. I had it entirely submerged. And this badger brush 
retains a lot of moisture itself. And it looks like it's coming up nicely. It's definitely, I got a bowl full here to work with. I'm just trying to incorporate it the best I can. And it smells great. I'd say it's easily a six out of 10 still. I don't know how old this soap is, but it's at least a couple years old for sure. And it is a soap of old, as I call them. So it is a little bit more high structure. Back in the days, they kind of, the indicator of a good soap was how peaky it could be. You always, you always used to see people getting the lather in their hands and kind of doing one of these actions, slowly opening it and seeing how, uh, how high the peaks and how sturdy the peaks were. Funny how we uh, <laughs> kind of moved away from that. And now we're, we get all worked up and hot and bothered over, over um, low structure lathers that are really dense and gooey. It's funny how the tables have turned. But there's nothing wrong with soaps of old. I got a bunch here, so. Let's just take it to the face. This is a 26 mil Badger Knot from Strike Gold Shave, like I said. Very luxurious. Super soft, but maintains a medium backbone that doesn't really impart much scritch at all. It's actually pretty much all luxury, just super soft gel tips. And for me, it pretty much covers my entire shaving area with these painting strokes. But it would make quick work of uh, my face if I didn't have the full beard. I'm sure of it. Oh, and this fragrance. I got the matching splash. I wish I had the... I wish I had remembered the uh, cologne or perfume that was associated with this so I could uh, tell you guys it's definitely it's definitely an older cologne but I'm sure it was a bestseller because this stuff is really nice <clears throat> all right and we're going with the carve open comb again even though I only have one day's growth but we're hitting the carve open comb again but instead of a Voshkog today we're using a Gillette platinum blade on its first use so fresh blade here we go with the grain i've used gillette nassets i've used gillette silver blues i've used various gillette seven o'clocks and most Gillette blades are pretty good for me. I enjoy them. But I don't have a whole hell of a lot of <clears throat> use with these Gillette Platinums. I've used them, but just not a whole hell of a lot, so. Sorry, I had to dry my hands off. I'm telling you, this stuff is slick. And even though it's soap of old, it's definitely good enough to get the job done here. One thing I think people forget when they're chasing the latest, greatest base is that the old bases were good then. They're still good now, you know? It's one thing that I think kind of gets thrown out with the wash. One thing we forget in our pursuit to have the, the best of the best is that the stuff that we have now, the stuff that we had then, got us by then, 
Got us BBS shaves then. You know, it's still good stuff. <clears throat> All right. That was a very easy first pass. Not much to mow down. The open comb is probably overkill today, but I like it, so I'm using it. To hell with it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna, I'm just putting moisture on my face more or less. I'm not trying to get the entirety of the soap off because it's still good suds, you know what I mean? You know, I probably got enough suds on my collar to relather, but who cares? <laughs> All right, and you notice I keep drying off my hands. Maybe I should, uh, maybe I should dry off the handle of this thing. I'm serious. I don't know what the hell's going on here. This stuff is slick. <laughs> I'll tell you something. Maybe I shouldn't do that blooming thing. My hand has been slick ever since I put that bloom water on. <laughs> Can't seem to get it off. All right, here we go. Just got gobs and gobs of leather. You know what? I wasn't thinking or else I probably would have put some uh, Barrister and Man's Fear Not terror aid on on the lather one of these shaves like I said I'm probably gonna have to just throw a quarter of the entire bottle on just so I could uh, get a little excitement out of it I haven't completely formed my mind yet I still want to test more but I'm just poking fun but it is frustrating. I, I don't know. I, you know, Barrister Man is regarded as the best, and I just kind of, I guess I expected more. But can't win them all, really. Even if I do find a way to optimize that Terror Aid cooling agent, the fact that it has to be, the fact that I have to jump through hoops to get it to work is already detrimental to my enjoyment of the product. All right, enough about that. The Carve Open Comb, though, I have nothing but love for. Just smooth, intuitive, a little bit more blade feel than the standard bar but not intimidating at all. Feel safe. And if anything, I would definitely recommend this to a first time open comb user because you'll get more blade feel, which is something you might not be familiar with if you're working with like a D89 or a 34C, but it'll still feel safe because of the genius head design. So, yeah, I would definitely recommend this to a first time open comb user. It's definitely excited me about open combs. And I'm thinking of probably buying a timeless open comb base plate to go with my timeless bronze razor and giving that a go. I think that's a good idea. I have some pimples there. So if that does open up, that's what that is. Kind of felt a snag. All right, let's see how we did. I'm gonna rinse off. We'll check for closeness. I'll tell you right now, that sense strength has not let up. This cannot be bought anymore, obviously. Peter did away with the contracting for various reasons. You could watch 
uh, the interview, one of the various interviews that he's done, but he just did one recently with Latherhog that he put up on his channel, his YouTube channel, and John makes some great shaving and fragrance review content, so I really recommend checking out his channel if you haven't, but he has a interview, like I said, with Peter of the Shaving Shop, and he kind of glazes over why the old shaving shop formula just wasn't gonna stand or wasn't gonna work and why he moved away from it and as always John conducts pretty good pretty good interviews all right you just attempt to get this soap out of my beard Looks like I got it really good on that side. Good across there. Looks like I may have snagged a blemish or something. There's a dot over here. But other than that, I think we got closeness level achieved. I usually shave every other day. And I try to upload my videos every other day, but it's not a hard, fast schedule that you can depend on. But I'm just letting you know what I aim for. Like today, or back to back, you know. But most of the time, every other day. And that's because I shave every other day. I love shaving. I want to shave all the time. But I have a... I have a full beard, and it's not necessarily a must. I, In all reality, I shave as much as I do because I enjoy it, not because I need to. My lines will stay clean, you know, for a week or a couple days. I don't really need to touch it up on the daily. All right, so that's good. I'm going to follow up with the matching splash. <clears throat> give that a nice shake give you guys a little look of the uh, ingredients there now after shaves I don't really feel have came as far as soaps have in general from the old days a lot of the same stuff is used alcohol witch hazel aloe leaf juice vegetable glycerin polysorbate whatever the hell those last ones are in fragrance but it worked then, they work now. I know people are kind of taking the pitchfork to alcohol splashes, but I don't want to see them go. They might not be as... They might not be as beneficial as the new skin food splashes of modern times. I totally agree with that. Definitely, definitely. Not as beneficial. But new splashes don't give you the same old school feeling. They don't keep you in that vintage state of mind. Like a good little slap and tickle that the alcohol splash will give you. <clears throat> and this really was pretty smooth. I only got the the slightest tingle you know what I mean it wasn't it wasn't some crazy burn I don't think this was one of those crazy burn ones because it had more than just alcohol water fragrance in it but actually that was a, a pretty mellow burn I would just say it was a little tingle a little sizzle all right so I'll do a little recap here for you guys old school shaving shop club the Closer, a cologne dupe in which I wish I remembered. But, maybe if one of you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. That was made, I believe, by Through the Fire Fine Craft. And they are still around and they are still making great soaps that I should probably have more of. But, I also used my Lancaster Bowl, as per always. And my Grizzly Bay slash Strike Gold Shave brush. 
and I still have plenty of lather, and that stuff was slick, guys. I ain't even joking. And then, my new love, the Carve Open Comb. C-plate and the Gillette Platinum. Uh, I didn't talk a lot about it, but it was really smooth. Um, most Gillette blades are, they're known to be pretty well respected. Everybody might have their favorite Gillette ba blade, but most Gillette blades are good. So, and this one was no exception. I would say it was sharp and it was smooth and it probably, I mean, it's probably pretty damn identical to Gillette Silver Blues in my opinion, actually. But more use might differentiate them. Anyhow, that's it for me. Have a good Friday. Have a good weekend. Cheers. I'm finna have a cigar and a beers.